if you have ever felt like your life is not moving forward and everything just seems to stand still in your life, you're welcome to this episode of Audacity to Lead. And I'm going to be walking you through a quick guide to getting unstuck. You are welcome. So, what I want to do in this episode is to actually walk you through a simple, simple metaphor that can help you to understand what it means to actually get stuck. So, here is a simple a diagram, a simple image here. This is a life kneeling down before you and life just comes to you with his nails and says that I have given you everything, talent, opportunities, a healthy support network, please do something. And then this is you sitting down and you are crossing your leg and you say, mm, nah. Now, what I want to do here is to actually walk you through what can you do to actually get unstuck. So let's say life has come to you, it's kneeling down before you right now and saying that every single thing you need to actually make life happen, I've already given you. It is just now for you to do something, but you are feeling very stuck. You are feeling like, mm, I can't do anything. Now, what I'm going to be walking you through is going to really, really be of help. So, I want to say welcome to this particular episode. Now, if you're wondering what this channel or this podcast is about, basically, what I do here is to help give you the courage and the necessary insights to lead your life and business in the direction that matters to you. So, if getting unstuck is something that matters to you, then you are very very welcome so let's say you are at this standstill in life and you are wondering what has caused it why would someone see all of life like this offered to you and you are unable to do anything well majorly because you are stuck and in my experience and in my work with people i've identified four types of stock the first type is when you when you're stuck to where you are and you have this, you cannot see a future that's compelling enough. This creates a sense of hopelessness. You don't exactly, it's not exactly the lack of vision, but sometimes it is caused by not having enough long-term thinking. And my recommendation is to not let your direction, to not limit your direction rather because of some self-destructive choices that you are making at this current point in your life. Now, number two thing that you can be stuck to is fear, or the second type of stock is fear. And this is when you are stuck to, especially the fear of failure and the fear of success, especially when you are letting the fear of mistakes and missteps to often make you kind of not able to go in the direction that really, really matters to you. Now, when you are stuck to fear like this, there's a simple process that you can actually use to get out of that fear loop. But then, in subsequent episodes, I'm going to talk about that. But what I want you to really, really got to understand here is that sometimes fear can tend to incapacitate you and you become unable to take certain risks. That creates some sense of stuckness. Number three is when you are stuck to stress. And this stress is oftentimes created by high demand. The definition of stress is when you are, when you have um, high demand placed upon you, higher than what your capacity to perform is. So my simple definition of stress is capacity is great, um, demand is greater than your capacity to perform. So when people are placing demands on you, maybe at your workplace, maybe your business is placing demands on you, maybe even in your personal life, there's a lot of demand on you and you don't particularly have the capacity to meet that demand, it could create stress. And that's what I want you to understand here, that it could actually create stress. Now, the number four type of stock is when you are stuck to a money story, especially a disempowering money story. Now, when you are stuck to a disempowering money story, according to me, a story is basically two-layered. There's an external story and there's an internal story. The internal story is what you tell yourself most times when it comes to money. So it may be that you have this goal that you want to make money. You have this big goal that you want to make money. But underneath that big goal, there's a story you're telling yourself that, ah, if I make this money, 
will somebody not come after me? Will arm robbers not <laughs> he'll not attack me? Or maybe you're even thinking, if I hit this goal, will it not be that a lot of people will now begin to place demand on me and of course it's going to lead to another stock, isn't it? So it could be that you have this money story and then underneath this money story, there's something that's actually running underneath this money story and you need to identify that. Now, when it comes to the fear of, when it comes to um, the fear of mistakes and missteps, I think I should talk about the fear of stress. Now, in order to get out of the stuckness caused by stress, particularly placed upon you by high demand, what you need to do is to recognize that you are the biggest obstacle to overcome. And when I say that, I'm basically referring to the fact that when you are stuck to stress, it is basically because you are trying to do everything yourself. So sometimes you need to get out of your own way so that somebody else may probably take over or do some of the things that you think that it's only you that can, that can do. So if you're an entrepreneur like myself, if you are an expert like myself, if you are a business leader like myself, one of the things you can do is what are the very, very important things that only me <laughs> can do? And the other things that are not so important, you can think of looking for somebody to let um, that person handle that. I hope you get that. Now, understanding that you can be stuck to any of these four, you can be stuck to where you are and not being able to move forward, you can be stuck to fear and um, not willing to accommodate mistakes and missteps, or you could be stuck to stress caused by high demand, or you could be stuck to some disappearing money story. Now, according to Miriam Williamson, she said that no one will listen to us until we listen to ourselves. Now, the reason why this is particularly important is because a lot of times you, because you are a leader, you want to talk to people, but somehow there's a dissonance going on inside of you. And because you are not paying attention, you know you are stuck, but you are just trying to push forward. You are trying to move forward. You are trying to do what they call strong face, and you are trying to figure everything out. No one is going to listen to you unless you actually pause and listen to yourself. Now, in order to share one thing you can actually do with you, particularly, especially if you are feeling like a fraud. Now, when I say you are feeling like a fraud, what I mean when I refer to being um, feeling like a fraud is basically you are feeling fearful, you are feeling resentful, you are feeling angry, you are feeling unfulfilled, and you are feeling disappointed. Now, whenever you feel like this, of course, it's often created by the fact that you are stuck so when you are stuck like that, you begin to feel like a fraud. You begin to feel like what you are doing now is not what you are supposed to be doing. Or you begin to feel like, ah, will somebody else want to... Do you understand what I'm trying to explain here? So you begin to have this internal conflict going on. And anytime this happens, what you need the most is basically to take back your power. So think about it right now. Who have you given power over your life. I know a lot of people will say that um, I have mentors, I have coaches, I have this, I have that. But have they taken over the power over your life? Don't you think it's time for you to actually take back that power? Just as with the metaphor that I used to start. Life is kneeling down before you right now and telling you that I have given you opportunities, everything, talent, opportunities, a healthy support network, Please do something. And you are sitting down and saying, nah. This is me here telling you that if you are stuck like that, you need to take back your power. If you are the one sitting down like that and you feel like you are stuck, you can't do anything, you need to understand that there is an inherent power that is already present in you that needs to be tapped into. Look deep within yourself and tap into that power. You realize that if you consistently tap into that power, you will make this year, 2019, one of the best years of your life. What will come to you as a result will not come because somebody else helps you to channel that power. It will come basically because you look within you and tap into that power incident within you. My name again is Dio Samuel. 
and I'm excited that you have joined me so far. I look forward to walking you through more interesting things in the next subsequent episodes. As at this point, I want to say thank you for joining me. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the podcast, and I intend to serve you every week with life-transforming, business-transforming content, information, ideas, tactics, and strategies, the courage and the necessary insights you need to actually lead your life and business in the direction that matters to you. So this is Dyer Samuel here telling you to live without limits. I'm going to see you next episode.